And of course, if you want to join us live on the action at MSM Online, please always remember it is available every Monday, free to enter, and it only starts at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is West Coast, Best Coast time, and the stream goes live at 7 p.m. All right, looks like uh, we're going to get into this first match right away with uh, 17 and uh, I believe it's pronounced Mando. Yeah, Mando. I keep thinking it's uh, like Mandalorian, but I think it's, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, it's like Mandalorian, but Ma Mando. All right, cool. Yeah, I, 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 keep, I keep trying to say it. There's a skate style called Mongo, which is the really wrong <laughs> way of riding a skateboard. It's so, like in my mind, I don't know why I'm saying Mongo. Um, but yeah, it is going to be Mando, of course, the Min Min versus 17, the Zelda. Uh, this is an interesting matchup just because I've never seen it that much. But the one thing I will say here is Min Min gets to play is one of the greatest anti-zoner zoners of all time because your character literally has to be better than Min Min at the zoning and better than Min Min at the close range if you're going to be using a character like Zelda. And you can tell how much Mando is winning here with the first stock taken. Yeah, I mean, uh, right now, even right now, both at uh, two stocks. And uh, yeah, you can see that Mando's using his, uh, his arms to his ability. Uh, summoning that Phantom, but not uh, quite hitting it. Summoning another Phantom. And it only got to half of the stage using that side special. Another phantom coming out. Yeah, one of the Zelda's best tools is, uh, you. I mean, like, like I always say, you don't play Zelda to play Zelda. You play Zelda to play Phantom. Yeah, that Phantom is literally one of the best MVPs for Zelda. Honestly, it's her Marvel assist. It is her character assist. It is literally its own character. I feel sometimes like you are playing. Like, Zelda isn't necessarily the character, it's actually Phantom, and Zelda's the one moving around, but... Uh, honestly, it comes from a lot of master play that it comes from using Knight. And it's not just using Knight, but when we see players like Ven and 17, and how they can handle Knight aggressively, defensively, and offensively so well, it goes to show that there are some more tools and tricks of the trade with the character than previously thought. You know, there's a lot of Wi-Fi Zeldas out there, but a Wi-Fi Zelda in top 8 always has something to show with the character. Definitely uh, good use of the uh, both arms right there. Oh, and you seen the uh, heavy one? I, I forgot the name. Like, uh, but getting back into the match, 17 right now is at zero percent. Mando getting back up to stage with that recovery, missing the grab, and another phantom coming out. It's like back to back phantoms. Like they never stop coming. They will never stop. Yeah, <laughs> they don't stop coming. Zelda has a limited supply of phantoms. Uh, Ultimate Clayton, I do remember when Zelda didn't have a down B. It was just a transformation into Sheik. And even though some players might not agree with me, I actually like that Zelda and Sheik are separate characters. I actually prefer that. You do? Yeah, I like that. I, I do like that they're separate characters. Actually, now that I think about it, I also like it as well. I yeah. Mean, it, it makes a lot more sense. Oh my... Oh, that... Uh, the, the Pharaoh's Wind didn't get uh didn't kill good di from manda right there oh another phantom slash and these phantoms are so annoying oh good use of that uh smash attack though to space oh just pushing that dash attack mm. and getting hit by that fair my gosh yeah that fair is insane with the sweet spot uh, it is insane indeed, and 17 is able to hold on to that shield and get around the arms. Honestly, look, I know Min Min is definitely one of those top tier characters that has been talked about being top tier. And honestly, say what you want, some character, some people think Min Min isn't top tier, some people think Min Min is top tier. It all depends on what angle you come from. I, I personally think Min Min's a really great character. It has a lot of clear weaknesses that are really hard to look at it. When you're, when you're in the Min Min range... It hurts. Like, I'm not kidding. Being spaced out by those arms, my god. That character is a social distance character. That character was designed to keep six feet away between you and her. But when you do get in close, keep in mind that you can punish Mimmin. You do just have to get used to holding your shield and timing it a little bit differently. You have to get used to spot dodging a certain way. You also have to be able to be aggressive with Min against Mimmin when she's off the stage. She may have a pretty, she may have a good tether recovery. 
I would say she has a decent tether recovery. The funny thing is that even though she's like a better Belmont, she doesn't have a be she doesn't have as good as a tether recovery as characters like Richter because her up B has a really really weird angle range that it just won't connect when she's too low compared to Belmont's and Joker and even um, Byleth. That's the crazy thing that I find about Min Min. She has a blind spot for her up B, and it's so prominent if you're not able to recover with her on certain angles. So keep that in mind. I do think Min Min is top tier. Uh, Proto Banam, definitely putting it out there that the character is top tier. I don't think the character is toxic. Um, say what you want, man. I think the character is a pretty cool addition, and I'm really excited that we do have Min Min in the game. I'm excited for all the characters we got. I think probably, I can't think of one character that I wasn't excited for so far. Maybe Piranha Plant. I really didn't care about Piranha Plant. What about Byleth? I like Byleth. I'm, I'm a huge Fire Emblem fan. All right. I, I, I'm a fan of like Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, Fire Emblem The Binding Blade. Um, I did like Three Houses, uh, funny enough, but I didn't like the other. I did like Awakening. I didn't like Fire Emblem Fates or the other ones. I can talk about Fire Emblem all day, man, because right now we're going to be talking about Mando and how he's so good with Min Min, able to use that up B to get that arm hit and then take care of 17, because like I said, the crazy thing about Min Min is your character, if you're if it's zoner versus zoner, your zoner has to be the better zoner, and it's really hard to be the better zoner, and you have to be more close range, because if you're in front of Min Min, it's one of those deals. It is just crazy. Min Min is definitely, in my opinion, top five, and there's so much your character has to do against Min Min. In terms of like range, in terms of close quarters combat, it's man, this character changes the game for sure. Uh, as you could see, oh, using the uh, Pharaoh's wind and getting hit by the Din's fire, my goodness, yeah, Din's fire is a very good move in a way. It's kind of like Snake's uh, side uh, guided missile. Oh, uh, but getting hit by that uh, that punch though, but yeah, as I was saying, Din's fire is. A very good move to keep uh, to protect the ledge. Getting hit by another punch. Oh my, yeah, another phantom coming out. Yeah, you cannot es escape the phantoms. Like they will, they will always come back to haunt you. Night, uh, uh, no pun intended, but uh, nice up smash to catch him right there. Using the uh, Fer Feral's win again. I mean, uh, it does. Ca Oh no, he missed the arms hook. Oh my god. I told like, you. I, I yeah, told you. Huge blind spot. It's so pro. It's like the one. F it's like the funniest weakness in the character, in my opinion. Like, out of all the thing, out of all the things about Min Min, like. It it's like, why is this one thing the blind spot? Uh, but. The character is just pretty interesting, all oh, nonetheless, man. 17 able to get that W over over Mondo so far. He's up 2-0 on Mondo. This is a best of five scenario here. So one more W from 17 and Mondo will be out of the tournament. Uh I don't think it's biased. Yeah, I'm just saying the character is good, bro. But I understand. We have been talking about Min Min a lot. I can talk about Zelda all I want. Um sometimes I do I will admit I'm a little biased. I I, I definitely agree on that one. I can be biased here and there. I people already know I don't I'm not I'm very biased against DK but I'll never I'll never not agree that Chunky Kong is a great player. Um yeah. I would I would I don't think they should never buff Min Min. I just think that Uppy is really funny to look at when it misses the tether. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You can get number 1 in a Japanese major and call it a fluke. I could not. I could not accept that. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, Ganon versus Zelda. I'm um, sorry, the, the tags are wrong. <laughs> I'll switch that over for you guys here. It is going to be Mondo on the Ganondorf and. This is an interesting choice. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock it. You play who you want, man. You're, all, you're the one in top eight on the sticks. I'm the one on the mic, man. That forest smash is an excellent read to kind of beat out the flowers win on the spacing. And Ganondorf is really scary when he's at the ledge too, and when he shows his back towards you, he can back air you, up smash you, read you with the wizard kick. Uh, he can even down air you. Jesus, Ganondorf is one of those cases you have to really, really respect sometimes. Uh, but the thing about 17 is, if you're a zoner, you just have to play the zoner game. Because Ganondorf will 9 times out of 10 lose to that zoner game unless you're being overly aggressive. 
Yeah, I mean, definitely some good information there. Oh, getting hit by that phantom though. Yeah, like, very good tool of Zelda. And, like, I, you will not see a Zelda not use phantom. Yeah, the, the thing about 17 here is 17 could change the timing of the phantom charges, which we saw he just went for a simple charge for just the punch. Uh, full charge is obviously better. That's going to be a forward smash. Unfortunately for Mondo, not able to get to the bottom of the stage because that was covered so much by Phantom. That out smash is so good because 17 happens to be jumping through. Caught that man slipping. That out smash would definitely kill. Unfortunately, he was on the ground here. 125. Uh, Mondo looking for something here. The out smash will not connect here. Finally goes for the wizard kick. It is able to close that gap. A uh, wizard click is usually used for tech chase scenarios and opportunities just like that one that we saw. Yeah, we want to be careful when spamming on that one, but for Mondo, man, he's looking for that grab. No grab! <sighs> Rough stuff for Mondo. I kind of want to see him get a little bit on the board here, but 17 knows. I just keep up this spacing game, and Gandalf will be a thing of the past here. Forward air. No setup with the Knight. Sends with the Dins Fire. Low recovery angle here, and 17 can get that up tilt, but no confirm. All right, good shield right there to protect himself from that Nair. Oh, I'm getting hit by that side tilt. And here comes Dins Fire to finish him off. Wow. Mando right now, uh, he's out, correct? Yep, Mando is now out of the tournament, man, just like that.